While I can't confirm it with hard data, I think the RC1 is probably what people think is the best looper pedal. And um, I think that for a couple different reasons. The first one is how many it ships on Amazon. They seem to sell quite a lot of them. The second reason is that it's, it's one of my most viewed videos. And, but uh, it seems like people like the RC1 the most. And I think the reason for that is the simplicity and the fact that like it's really not difficult to use this thing. You don't get caught up with any of the external features or the additional features, excuse me. I have four different loopers. I got the, I got the clone looper, I got the RC1, I got the RC5, and then I got the, the Ditto X2. And I actually don't think the RC1 is the best looper pedal. And the reason why I don't think it's the best looper pedal is because it's missing a few key features that some of these other loopers have. For instance, I like the clone looper more than the RC1 because one, you got you got reverse and you got double speed on it. If I recall correctly, I believe there's half speed on it as well. And I like the fact that you can control it externally with two different types of switches. And you can, this is very important, you can clear loops quietly on it. Which I don't believe is something that you can do with the RC1. And ultimately, I, I think the loop station, the RC1, is like a beginner looper. It isn't really meant for people who intend on performing. Um, because if it was, it would be, it would have that function because you need to be able to clear the loops quietly um, in order to use it live, I would say. Out of these four looper pedals, um, I would say that I'm tied for the Ditto X2 and the Clone Looper. And the reason why I choose these two is because, as I said, they have the dual foot switch. So like this one, you have reverse and half speed and stop, and you just switch the, you just flick the switch in order to change the feature hit reverse then hit it again twice it'll engage both of them which is pretty cool and then you can also store one backing track and you can export your tracks on it too it's got the stereo inputs and outputs you can can you can power it with batteries um, you can also change the order of functions by flipping the switch in the back compartment right here so ultimately i think this is the most bang for your buck However, the issue with the Ditto X2 is that you're gonna have a hard time finding it. For instance, I had to get mine on eBay. I couldn't, I don't even think they make this anymore. I don't know if TCE makes these. Um, they absolutely should make them again if they stopped because uh, this is definitely one of the better looper pedals that you can get. So even though I think the Clone Looper and the Ditto X2 are the best loopers, they're actually not the, my go-to. And the reason why is because I think the RC5 is the most capable unit, but the reason why I don't say it's the best is because there's an, an intense learning curve to this. Um, this isn't a pedal that you, you just start using and, and you know all the features and you, and you know how to program it and you know how to do everything. Um, on my site, travelingguitarist.com, I came up with like a full detailed guide on how to use everything because I found that the manual wasn't as good as it could be, but Nothing against Boss, it's just most of these companies don't make good manuals. By the way, if you're looking for something to practice, get my fretboard cheat sheet. It's the triads all over the neck. You can get it at travelingguitarist.com slash fretboard cheat sheet. You can sign up to my list there and it's a, it's a really useful tool for, uh, for practicing and understanding the roots of Western harmony. But yeah, at the end of the day though, the, the RC5 is certainly the most capable and versatile unit because you can do everything with this. It's got your MIDI, you can control it with MIDI switch, MIDI switches. You can also control it externally. You can send MIDI information out as well. And it's got stereo inputs and outputs. It's got backing tracks. You can store 99 loops and, and 99 backing tracks on it. Um, you can export things. You can use Boss Tone Studios backing tracks on it as well if you want. Um, and um, pretty much every aspect of this pedal can be customized to your liking. And you can also set it up with a MIDI, MIDI, with a MIDI foot switch and a foot switch like the FS7 at the same time. So there, there's no question that the RC5 is probably the best looper for people who are wanna be serious about it and for people who wanna perform with it as well. Another main advantage that the RC5 has over all of these other loopers is that this has the highest quality audio in it. This, is a, this has 32-bit audio. 
Um, the RC1 does not have the highest quality audio. I don't remember what the what the audio is on this. I think it's 16-bit actually, which isn't that great. And uh, the Clone Looper and the Ditto X2, they have good quality audio too. But if I recall correctly, they don't have 32-bit. I couldn't find the information on the Clone Looper, but uh, but I, if I understand correctly, I believe the Ditto X2 is 20 something. But but yeah, the, the Loop Station, the RC5 has definitely got a leg up on those two in that regard. But ultimately, I think I think it, to really uh, to really summarize what I'm getting at here, I think that in terms of simplicity, if you want a Looper pedal that's not going to overwhelm you, I think you're best to go with the Ditto X2. Um, if you can't find it. If you can't find the Ditto X2 online, then I would get the Clone Looper instead. However, the Clone Looper doesn't have a battery option like the Ditto X2. You can't connect it to a computer, you can't load a backing track, and um, it, you can't export um, files out of this either. So if you record it, you can't export it to your computer. And interestingly, when I was online, I saw that Guitar World as well, um, Guitar World lists the Ditto X2 as the number one loop, looper. And I have to admit, that kind of surprised me because uh, my opinion of journalism like that isn't the best. I always just assume it's a paid ad or it's just like some intern who's using ChatGPT to write their article. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised to see that that article was actually, seemed actually pretty on point because the Ditto X2 is definitely a really solid looper. And um, it's great for someone who wants many different functions like reverse, half speed, and also just a simple stop switch but also it's simple to use, right? It's very simple to use. And another thing I like about it more than the clone looper is that the clone looper is weird shaped. So if you don't have this fastened to your pedal board with uh, you know, Velcro or what have you, I find it's like topsy turvy when, it, when you stomp on it, like it's easy to like flip it over. So you definitely wanna have it fastened to a board of some sort.